Hi, if you're a business owner and you're looking to grow, I have a story to share with you. I was overwhelmed and frustrated because it seemed like I kept taking two steps forward and one step back. I didn't think I was stressed out, but when the doctor handed me the results of my blood test, it turned out that even though I was eating right and exercising regularly, the way I was managing my business was damaging my health. Every day I got up early and went to work as a personal trainer slash business owner. Though I was bringing in a fair amount of money based on my energy, I knew I couldn't continue at that pace forever. I knew I had to focus on activities that build the business, but I lacked the time. The busier the week was, the less time I dedicated to the business. I needed money now to pay the bills, and whatever did that, that's what I was doing. I felt like I was juggling too many balls, never realizing that my health was taking a toll. Then, one day, I told a business mentor about how I felt, and he said something to me that would change the course of my journey. He said, systems will set you free. Though I didn't understand what he meant at the time, I was eager to learn. I mean, I had everything on the line with this business, so I really had no other choice. That moment right there, at that crossroad, is where 75% of small businesses fail in the first 10 years. Here's what I learned. Turns out that in all of us lives a maker who makes the work, a manager who manages the work, and an entrepreneur who creates more work customers are willing to pay for. I realized that my view as a maker was interfering with the growth of a manager and an entrepreneur. I tried to hire someone to manage the business side of things, but it didn't work out because anyone I hired did a slightly worse job than I would do. I mean, I did own the place. What I realized was that I didn't own a business. The business owned me. If your business depends on you, it's not a business, it's a job. It's only until I realized that I can't remain the maker that things started to change. My mentor taught me to have a clear vision of where I want to go. That I must commit myself to moving the company from a people-dependent business to a systems-dependent business. A business that is consistent, simple, and well-documented. One where I can set up my life to do the work I love that creates the most impact for the company. It took me a while to grasp what my mentor was trying to make me see, but I did it. I created systems and grew my company to work better without me. You could say I went from being the paint to being the painter. One day I decided it was time to sell my business and the buyer said he shopped a thousand businesses before finding mine. The most popular question from these buyers, does this business work without you? Which I was happy to reply yes. So I sold my masterpiece for over a million dollars which makes my life a lot easier these days. Now I want to help others experience that freedom. So why not you? If that video resonated with you, my name is Jean-Luc Bosno. I'm a business coach and I can help take your business to the next level. I can't take everyone, but I would love to help you. So check out my website at jeanlucbosno.com.